Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to continue with our uh, CSV files. So, we could sit and create our own, but we're becoming pretty savvy with all the tools that we are learning. So now, we need to be able to go out and get a file, right? So, let me just show you the one that we're going to be working with. So the file that we're going to pull down is <clears throat> it's going to be a listing of companies and their stock symbol. And this is just a quick little so even even if we click on this and it's going to have the download there's a way around that so how you're gonna do this is for any other time you're just gonna right click copy link address and then paste wherever you want and let's just look at this copy copy link address and we do URL don't forget your string. All right. But before we can do this, we need to learn how we're going to do this. Now, we've already looked at URL lib, right? And let's look at import URL lib dot requests. So let's run this. So now let's look at this. URL lib dot requests requests, excuse me. That's another library. So alright. What we're interested in, yeah, I know that's a little garbled, but this right here. So let's change this up as from import URL retrieve I before E. I hate all those as re. <laughs> as retrieve I've never said this was a spelling class so alright so let's just run that again alright so let's run help on what in the world retrieve does so alright let's spread this out so it's a little bit readable a little bit more readable alright give it a URL Retrieve a URL into a temporary location on disk. So, all right, the reason why this is so cool is when I do this, or I click here, my Windows is going to say, I'm going to throw it into where I think it needs to go, and I'm going to name it whatever file I think I should name it, or what the server was told, or the file of this. Well, in Python with all these awesome tools that we are acquiring let's get this back over here so we can see it so now this is the way that we can do this and put it where we want it because right now if we don't change there's one video one one thing that we're gonna do about learning about path to change the file I think we might do this in a couple videos but if we want to create a file it's going to save it to the directory where we are running our Python script and where our Python script is saved so this is the way we use it retrieve give it the URL and then you just name CSV. Close this out. Run this. All 
downloading saved now check this out here's our file open it up and here ooh, let me make sure you guys can see all this let me shrink this down so here is our CSV file actually let me transition this over there now you should be able to see everything and now we're gonna start doing some very cool stuff with this because there's some information in here that we're not gonna want to use we're gonna want to chop this up a little bit but here is the symbol here's the company name and a couple other things but this is how we get started because it would be silly for us to go and have to download and put a file into location when we have all these awesome tools it'd be silly for us to start there or to have to create create our own so I thought this would be a very cool way to start our CSV uh, work and get started with this so this is downloading a CSV file with our URL lib library and working with the method of URL retrieve so all right guys thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell because I absolutely love this stuff and I love making these videos for you guys and I love the comments love the feedback I can't tell you guys thank you enough so make sure you're clicking that notification bell because I don't want you missing anything. I don't want you feeling overwhelmed. I want you um, being able to come here and learn Python at a reasonable pace. And also, if you're new here, the reason why I do these videos in these short little snippets is so you can come back and search them. Because I know when I first started watching, I would watch them and I'd get them but then I wouldn't remember where it was in a certain video. I have these broken up and have these searchable. And then I go back and I put them all together in, longer, in a longer video. But I want these to be very searchable, easy to find. So if there's something you didn't quite remember, you can come right back here and find it. So I can't tell you guys thank you enough. And uh, we'll just keep going on these uh, CSVs. Appreciate it, guys. See you next time.